tailback. And Thorne come up with something again. He's got protection, delivers the throw, and once again, a route right near the marker. That's Reed who came back. Ohio State says they ripped the football out, but it's, well, they, they were fighting yeah. for that ball, and as he was trying to reach, the ball did come out. You wonder if he was down. That was the reaction from the crowd, but how about the throw now on third down? Really good coverage, tight coverage, maybe a little handsy. As he extends, that ball comes out. Burke was all over him. He reaches out, and uh, looks like the ball's out. Before his shoulder Before, before the shoulder touched. Crowd sees the replay and is booing and see if they'll stop and take a look. Tom Kissinger is the replay official in this Big Ten crew. He was on top of Burke, and I think the ball came out, and then the shoulder hit after, and then it's recovered. He said the key thing has to be a clear and immediate recovery in a play like that, and Ohio State did come up with it. We'll bring in uh, Bill Lamagna, our rules expert here. Bill, how do you see this one? I see the ball out before he's down. There's an immediate recovery, so the whistle doesn't matter. They'll give them the ball at the spot of the recovery. So this will be reversed by replay. Tough play for the officials on the field, but it's a loose ball. But Burke knocked that ball loose. On his back, Kirk, he yeah. reaches up and never Didn't even see it. it. He, just, he just is flinging his hand to try to, you know, towards the football where it might be and makes contact. Yeah. Player. Everybody needs to meet my guy here. Mr. Schroeder and Hugh. It is an incomplete pass. Oh. As a result, it will be fourth and ten at the 29 yard line. That's a break for Michigan State. We didn't we didn't factor that in from 46 in cold weather. This is a tough assignment for him. And the Ohio native will slide it wide right. So Michigan State comes up empty after a long 88-yard drive.